Hi there, this is a new series called Book Report. I've been reading more often lately, and I thought it would be fun to make videos about some of the books I've read recently, partly to share what I've been reading and potentially start some conversations, and partly to motivate me to finish reading other books somewhat consistently. Today, we're talking about Infinite Resignation by Eugene Thacker. So, Thacker is a philosopher, poet, and author who's currently teaching at The New School, in New York. Infinite Resignation is a philosophical work on the topic of pessimism. It's broken into two major sections. The first is a long essay called On Pessimism, and the second is called The Patron Saints of Pessimism. The first essay, which takes up more than half the book, consists of vignettes, many of which are only a few lines long, which definitely makes it pretty easy to pick up, put down, and jump back into when you have some spare time. If there's a central argument to this essay, I do not know what it is. More than anything else, it feels like an exploration of pessimism, both in a philosophical context as well as its role in daily life, specifically during the current era of what kind of feels like the end of the world. Different representations of pessimism are really the only connective tissue here, as the vignettes cycle through quotes from philosophers and public figures, anecdotes, and the author's own complaints and observations about very mundane events or news items. Oh yeah, and aphorisms. Aphorisms become a a major aspect of the first essay with a mix of aphorisms from others and Thacker's own aphorisms. There are also passages that reflect on how useless aphorisms really are, but especially toward the end of On Pessimism, the piece just starts getting overwhelmed with these aphorisms, most of which do indeed feel useless, like their main intent is only to present an idea and then immediately devalue it via strangulatory wording and structure. On Pessimism probably could have been edited down substantially, but the essay didn't really overstay its welcome. If anything, the difficulty in reading On Pessimism comes as a direct result of the content. For obvious reasons, reading what is sort of kind of a defensive pessimism can be unpleasant, even if you agree with many of the viewpoints being presented. At the same time, it can be genuinely comforting and funny, since pessimism can also naturally lead to a kind of shrugging in difference to what might otherwise be sources of anxiety and concern. But it's not an abandonment of political or sociological activism either. One of the big reasons I wanted to read one of Thacker's books, I picked this one more or less at random, is that he was presented to me by a friend of mine as a notable figure of post-anthropocentrism. Anthropocentrism is loosely this giant ideology or collection of ideologies, potentially, that operates on the foundation that humans are the most important important creatures on Earth, and that everything on Earth can be used to achieve human ends. This is a really rough summary of the concept, so I apologize for not expanding it further, but I think it's easy to see how this viewpoint has dominated just about every aspect of human existence for a very, very long time. And for a few years now, I've been working on a book that will ideally be very post-human, at least in its settings and characters. So I was excited to read something that could potentially inform that work. I wouldn't say that Infinite Res Resignation is a purely post-anthropocentric work, although we could maybe argue that pessimism offers a viable and reasonably seductive path on the way to post-anthropocentrism, and I'm very excited to see whether Thacker's other books dive deeper into the topic. The final section, The Patron Saints of Pessimism, is a collection of short biographies of what Thacker considers to be major philosophical figures in the realm of, well, pessimism. So we've got some obvious picks here, like Nietzsche and Schopenhauer, but it also covers plenty of folks I'd never heard of, like Blaise Pascal and Michel de Montaigne. Infinite Resignation is 386 pages long, and this edition is published by Repeater Books, an imprint of Watkins Media Limited. It was printed and bound in the UK, with cover design by Prima Murthy, and typography and typesetting by Stuart Davies. It's a fairly thick book, but the paper stock is light, and it always felt quite nice to hold. I do like the cover design, though books with largely white covers kind of make me nervous, since I I know that I'm going to get them dirty eventually. And the back cover design consistently reminds me of the cover art for Radiohead's album A Moon-Shaped Pool, which is a bit distracting. I really 
really enjoyed Infinite Resignation, and I enjoy it even more now that I'm not actively reading it. There were just times when I didn't want to dip back into the misery. Would I recommend Infinite Resignation? Yes, definitely. Especially if you want a book of philosophy that's very accessible. There are very few moments when the book gets dense enough to scare off newcomers, I feel. But that's that. I hope you liked my book report. I'll do another one when I can. For now, thanks for stopping by.